Hey, everybody. Getting near the finish line. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Look at it. Look. Award ceremony. We got a video. Let's do it. You have to do that again. <laughs> Hi Tom, great being with you again. Uh, this time is something that I love to do, and that is recognizing excellent in our field. You know, almost uh, 15 years ago, when I was in your shoes at the CED, I realized we don't recognize sufficiently excellence around and came up with the idea of awards. Do you care to tell us about it? Well, Yadi, your shoes are so big to fill, brother, but uh, glad to be here with you as well. And uh, so we're going to speak about briefly about the CED awards and the uh, GCEA awards and then turn it over to our colleagues to tell you more. So the CED awards, uh, three of them, the uh, individual award, the IFMB CED award you see here on the website. A second one is the Clinical Engineering Outstanding Teamwork Award, and that's teams within a country. And then third, the Best Clinical Engineering Article and Conference Paper Award, two awards we give every year. And I'll say quickly, nobody but the best wins the IFMB CED Award. And uh, the first one was, Dr. Uh, was Adriana Velazquez of WHO, our uh, wonderful colleague. And so, and Dr. Jim Weir there in, uh, first in 2015 and Dr. Jim Weir in 2018. Now, a variety of folks have won the Outstanding Teamwork Award and a variety of great folks have won the uh, best conference article and uh, paper award. So th these are great awards and they, they're doing what you set out to accomplish. Uh, Dr. David, over to you. Great. And to complement the program of recognizing excellence, now with the Global Clinical Engineering Alliance, we added one more category and that is the Collaborative Capacity Building Award, the GCA. Collaborative Capacity Building Award is giving this year for the first time ever. And the concept here is to recognize and promote models for national society interaction on global level in promoting the field and the cooperation in the field. So this year, we are happy to uh, see that uh, JACE, the Japan Association of Clinical Engineering uh, is winning it. They have specific committee that dedicated to international uh, work and for public awareness, excellent work. And I tell you between our organizations, we have now a recognition program that will show how excellence and model are being practiced in our field. So Yadin, you tip the hat on your award, but I'm not going to on ours, but it is about exceptional contributions. And lis listen to Keiko and Fabiola tell us more. Thanks. Great, looking forward. Hello everyone. What an excellent opportunity to greet you and share the good news with you. As you know, the Clinical Engineering Division established a series of awards to recognize the extraordinary work of our engineers worldwide. And this time we want to acknowledge those who have had exceptional performance in their professional endeavors. As coordinator of the awards committee, I had the opportunity to meet individuals and working groups that show the value that clinical engineering provides to health system through their publications and proposals that the global community sent. This year, we received a record number of proposals with an authentic representation from all world regions. Thank you for your participation. Selecting the winners was not easy, but we believe that they represent the best clinical engineering in the world, and that is why we honor them. By the way, I want to acknowledge the awards committee for their extraordinary work. Thank you, Jadin, Tom, Paolo, Eva, James, Miladen, Leishla, and Alan. And now the awards. In 2021, 29 articles were published in the journals Health and Technology, Journal of Medical and Biological Engineering, Global Clinical Engineering Journal, and Research on Biomedical Engineering. 
In the conference paper modality, the 33 papers presented at the following events were considered. 15 Mediterranean Conference on Medical and Biological Engineering and Computing. 7 International Conference on the Development of Biomedical Engineering in Vietnam. 8 Latin American Conference on Biomedical Engineering. 4th International Conference on Nanotechnologies and Biomedical Engineering and International Conference on Medical and Biological Engineering. The manuscript award for article journal is to Bench to Bench Side, the Technology Adoption Pathway in Healthcare by Daniel Clark, Geraldine, Sarah Bolton, and Beth Besson from the UK, published in Health and Technology. The manuscript award for conference paper is to Smart Aging, Are We Succeeding? from Barakovich Hosik J. Karakovic S. and Serotin Arevich A. from Bosnia and Herzegovina, and the paper was presented in the International Conference on Medical and Biological Engineering. We have a special mention on this award, and is for the journal article, Clinical Needs and Technical Requirements for Ventilators for COVID-19 Treatment Clinical Patients, an Evidence-Based Comparison for Adult and Pediatric Age, published in Health and Technology, by Martina Andelini, Simone De Santis, Federico Nocchi, Elena Vassanelli, Leandro Pecchia, and Matteo Ritrovato from Italy. Congratulations to the winners. This year, we received 10 proposals from candidates from Bosnia and Herzegovina, United Kingdom, Sudan, Turkey, Switzerland, Mexico, India, China, and Venezuela. The quality of the work developed by these extraordinary teams led us to have two winners. London Clinical Engineering Network, led by Ruth Thompson from UK, and the Department of Clinical Engineering and Information Technology, the first affiliated hospital, Shenzhen University School of Medicine, led by Jinji Feng from China. We also have two special mentions for Berlab, led by Almir Vanjevic from Bosnia and Herzegovina, and Andhra Pradesh Medtechson LTD in India. Congratulations to the team winners. In 2021, we celebrate the achievements of outstanding clinical engineering career reflected in our recipient's vision and leadership and appreciated by the work and progress made in his country. The Clinical Engineering Division Award goes to Alexander Ferrelli Sousa from the Associação Brasileira de Engenharia Clinica. Parvens, Alexandre, and keep inspiring us. On behalf of the Clinical Engineering Division, I thank all of your participation in these important processes for the Clinical Engineering Global Community. I'm waiting to greet you in person. I send you a fraternal hug. I am Fabiola Martinez. See you soon. Hello, I'm Keiko Fukuta, a member of DCEA. Uh, award committee. I'm very delighted to explain this year award description, criteria, and procedure for selection. This award recognizes groups or society for their contribution towards collaboration with other countries to improve their knowledge, education, capacity, and status in the clinical engineering field. The effort of the nominated group or society that have gained global recognition in the clinical engineering field, healthcare system, and the community through a demonstrated combination of the three categories, professional capacity building, collaboration, and contribution. Professional capacity building evaluated, capacity building program, cross-training program, original scheme, attendance demand, lecture and practice developed of the skilled professional workers. As a collaboration, it is a relationship between different countries, regions, or organizations, effective uh, works and achievement, good partnership, and a sustainable collaboration environment. Contribution assessed as a very important topic, sustainable, benefit both party contribution to the patient safety, medical technology and service, and the social philosophy and the culture area. 
The application period was from 8th August to 10th September. Several groups were nominated and we finally evaluated them based on the criteria. Based on this comprehensive evaluation, we are very honored to announce the first GCEA Collaborative Capacity Building Award. The winner is Japan Association for Clinical Engineer, which has been contributed to the development for the capacity building of the clinical engineer field between Japan and Myanmar. Congratulations. All right. All right. What a great gr group of winners. I thought I was splitting. <laughs> a glass here for a Japan. Okay. That is going to, oh, it's heavy. That's oh, going to Japan. Can I help you? <laughs> Congratulations. You're like on the Super Bowl and throw it in the water across the boats. I tell you, Tom, I'm so delighted uh, to recognize excellence in our field, being in manus manuscript, in achievement, in collaboration, in capacity building. What we're talking about is in large domains around the world. A lot of our colleagues are doing very good job, very good work, excellent delivery of services and we don't take the time enough to recognize it. What I mean by that is, I would like to see that next year, we have such a problem for the judges to pick up the winner because of the high quality candid candidate, candidates. And what your job, fellows around the world who are listening in, or those who will see the material from the archive in our website, if you're looking at this recording, make sure that next year, before the deadline, you will go and visit CED and GCEA websites and submit candidates. It's so easy to do and so right thing to do. Give recognition for excellence, good models to follow. Tom? You know, Fabiola and Keiko did such incredible jobs in their the process and their decision making. Um, I, I remember being, I, I had the privilege of being a part of the uh, committee for CED awards. And as Fabiola said, there were, I don't know, 29 one time and 12 another time. And anyway, it was just a lot of folks to choose from. But as Yadine says, we can do better. Yeah, <laughs> we can do better in everything, right? Um, so, and, and very difficult decisions. I mean, who can fill the shoes of Adriana Velasquez? Who can fill the shoes of the young Dr. Jim Weir? Tell them and why why they need to fill those shoes. Because they're recognized as the best of the best. They they received their awards. They that's the individual IFMB CED award only given every three years, um, and you know Adriana in 2015. Jim Weir in 2018, and now Alexander Farelli uh, Souza in 2021. One more time for that group. About that inaugural GCA award. And for GCA, this is awesome because I can say this is the first time ever that this award has been given. We don't have a model in the past to compete with, and it's very appropriate for a national association of clinical engineers that went out of their country to a smaller country in South East Asia and helped them to build up a program, help to train them, help with test equipment, help with program details. They poured their heart into it and their heads. And they were nominated and appropriately were selected. Keiko Fukuda did a great job as leading 
the awards committee at GCA. And again, looking forward to do it in two years. GCA is a biannual award. You know, and I love seeing those flowers pop up like that. So Japan and Myanmar, we saw uh, Canada and Haiti, we right. saw uh, South Korea and Tanzania. I mean, just all these cool things and I'm sure I missed a few others. <laughs> so uh, thanks again for that. Any last words about awards before we get let Luis talk about how to get your hands around all this information? Last award would be that uh, it is very easy for us, for Tom and me, to see that there are committees and judges and submitter of the award. But one more thing, the recipients, those who receive the award, just like those who receive the Nobel Prize, we don't expect them to get and retire to finish their career. We expect those individuals to continue to mentor and to duplicate what they have done through others, younger people in our field. So for those recipients, you have also the responsibility to continue to reflect, to influence and collaborate. Very good. So Luis, you know, you had this really small job of capturing all this with our uh, Zoom friends. So what happens next? Okay, so Fred Jose uh, um, manifested a challenge for all of us to make everything more searchable. And well, that's what we're working on. Um, all right, so how to get a hold of this. So first, uh, you know, to all the registrants, we will be sending an email in the next couple of days uh, with all how this information that I'm going to All right, so. 2,512 registrants. Actually, I know to... your name's Louise. I was just testing you. <laughs> cool. Okay, so uh, there's two important things that you need to remember. So if you're on YouTube, you just type Global Clinical Engineering Alliance here, and it will take you to this marvelous channel where we are already uploading videos into a playlist that is called um, ICEHTMC which will include, of course, all of the videos. And we will make sure that keywords are being used. So if you want to find your presentation, you can easily do it or search a keyword, for example, health technology assessment or something, uh, you will be able to easily find this. So this is where you can access um, content as we go. Uh, here, for example, we have one of the videos that has already been uploaded. And of course, we invite you to share like, comment, and all those things that you do on social media. And the second most important thing is that you visit right away the Global C, the Global Clinical Engineering Alliance website, where we not only are going to place uh, this important resources that are videos, we are also putting all the presentations in the Congress. So you will have an open library with all those presentations to help you out in your next project and your next um, activities. And of course, uh, just final remark, you can also surf on other sites uh, or pages of the sites, including the membership page where you will find more information on how to join, how you can partner, and of course, uh, all about GCA and the strategy and more resources to come, including the Hacking Coronavirus Repository. That'll be all, all from me. Uh, Yadin, Tom, I don't know if you want me to mention something else. I think we're good for now. We're actually gonna end this uh session a little bit early and go back to the lobby and then come immediately back to the closing keynote with Dr. David. So we'll give him, you know, 60 seconds of rest. All right. Just a, a comment that what Luis directed you to is a location for archive. What we did, we commit this Congress to life. It will be there forever for you to visit and review and de debate and compare. So never before we have the opportunity to do that in our field. We had proceedings, but we did not have the actual presentation and the slides to accompany that. So what you see on the screen on the right hand side are the website, which archive the Congress forever. Amazing achievement. Thank you. So when we end now, we're going to immediately go to the other. We'll give you a couple minutes to get there, but see you there in a moment.